Hey guys, it's Miss Jennifer. This week we are doing a lesson about penguins. So we are going to do three different, let me move these out of the way so you guys can see how cute they are. We are going to do three different art projects. Each of the art projects, will, you will need paint or glue or scissors. All right, so the first one that we're going to do is this one which I have found online, uh, different templates for the different parts of the penguin body. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the body out. All right guys, now when we are cutting, how should you cut? Do you want the scissors pointing towards you? or do you want the scissors pointing away from you? You always want the scissors pointing away from you. So just like when somebody says, good job, you want your thumb pointed up. So you want to remember it always, good job, thumb up. Now I'm cutting out the flippers. And what do you think the flippers are used for on a penguin? The flippers are actually used for the penguin to swim super fast. And next, I will cut out his cute little web feet. Now that we've cut out his flippers and his web feet, we are going to cut out his body. Or actually, his tummy. We're going to cut out his tummy now. And do you guys know what the outer portion of a penguin's body is that helps keep them warm? It's something fat. It is called blubber. And now I'm going to cut out the beak. Okay, so now we have all of these pieces cut out. Now, one thing to remember, moms, dads, teachers, you never want to tell a child where the items are supposed to be glued onto. You let them decide, okay? Their art projects are their art projects. It doesn't have to be perfect, and that's what I make sure to always tell my students. All right, here's my finished product of my penguin. But like I said, don't ever tell your students or your children where the items need to be glued onto. Okay, so now onto our next penguin. This one is a penguin template that I traced and cut out. And now we are actually going to use a sponge that I have cut and we're going to use white paint. So we're gonna use white paint on this you can use it on a paper plate or anything that you can pour white paint into. And all you're going to do is you're going to add the sponge into the paint and now dab it all over your paper. You can color or paint whatever you can with white all over your penguin. You can either do just the tummy or the entire body. And for the eyes, if you don't have googly eyes, you can always use black paint to, with a Q-tip, and here's our finished product of the sponge painting and the Q-tip painting of the eyeballs. All right, our next project we're gonna do is the smallest penguin, which is called the fairy penguin. All right, so again, we are going to cut and you want your thumbs up, not thumbs down. You don't want the scissors pointing towards you, you want them away from you. All right, now that we have finished cutting this out, you're going to use another sponge, or you can use the same sponge, it does not matter, and you're gonna use black paint on this one. So now you are going to dab all over this penguin. 
See, you don't always only have to use a paintbrush. You can use all different things to paint with. You could even use a Q-tip. You can use little pom-poms. You can use just about anything. Just use your imagination. And you'll be able to see all of your creativity by using something other than just a paintbrush. All right, so quick one. And now I'm going to, I actually have googly eyes for this one. So now I'm going to glue my eyes on to my little penguin. And this is going to be our fairy penguin. Our fairy penguin is the smallest penguin and the emperor penguin is the largest penguin. Okay, so here is our final products of our fairy penguins. And here is another penguin that we used with the sponge painting. And here is our last penguin. Hope you guys enjoyed doing this. Have a great day, bye.